all construction they stopped. Everything is just crazy. I think there's more people out now than there was like the first week or two. The COVID-19 pandemic, also known as the coronavirus pandemic, is an ongoing pandemic of coronavirus disease 2019, which is caused by severe acute respiratory syndrome coronavirus 2. The outbreak was identified in Wuhan, China in December 2019. Since then, the World Health Organization declared the outbreak a public health emergency of international concern on January 30th and a pandemic on March 11th. Multiple countries and territories have instilled lockdown or shelter-in-place protocols since around March 2020. California is one of the selected states within the United States of America that has been on lockdown since March 19th, 2020. One of the state's many hotspots for the spread of coronavirus is Santa Clara County. Many non-essential places of business have been shut down, except for some department and grocery stores that are required to stay open to citizens. Citizens have been encouraged to stay home and travel only when necessary for food and supplies. Keeping up with daily exercise is encouraged so as to maintain a healthy lifestyle in all aspects ranging from mental to physical needs. Two weeks into the Santa Clara County, California lockdown of March 19th, many public parks were closed off and shut down for use as a preventative measure for increasing cases of coronavirus. As various non-essential places of business and employed citizens suffer from these sudden distancing and lockdown protocols, there are still some who continue to do their jobs, whether remotely from their homes or from their actual career sites. These people and their positions have been deemed essential to the county in maintaining care and order of necessary aspects of society during the current pandemic. My name is Rina Magana and I'm a pharmacy technician at Kaiser Permanente. Basically assist pharmacists in all their job duties. Um, I translate prescriptions, I fill prescriptions, I restock all the boxes to make sure we have medication. I call doctors for um, refills. Patients have questions regarding their medications. We also email doctors and answer phone calls. Each patient, before they come into our building, their temperature is taken, they use hand sanitizers, they are given masks if they have their own mask. Um, our pharmacy has um, put up um, plexiglass in front of all the registers. Um, we have alcohol uh, ready for us to use to our workstations. Every time we start a new workstation, we wipe down our stations with alcohol. We are wearing masks, and if you would like to wear gloves, you're also allowed to wear gloves. And we are, do, we are practicing social distancing in the back. We only go out for the essentials, but we are trying to keep a normal life by going for walks, getting some fresh air, um, doing some kind of exercise video, um, 
maintaining maybe watching a show together, um, socializing with each other. Our workflow has changed in the sense that um, our pharmacy has been assigned as our, um, our, our, our supplying patients who are COVID-19 positive or they are being tested, we are the ones that will make sure the patients get their medications in, the, in consultations regarding the new medicine and the medicine being delivered to their home within that same day. My name is Richard Ramirez. I am a trade supervisor for Public Works City of San Jose. I've been working with the city for 22 and a half years, trade supervisor for five years. A trade supervisor is responsible uh, for the trade staff, which includes carpenters, plumbers, locksmith, painters, and warehouse and mailroom staff for citywide services. Uh, we are responsible for maintaining uh, by way of uh, preventative maintenance, repairs, and uh, annual services at all city-owned facilities, such as fire stations, police department, police buildings, uh, libraries, community centers, park restrooms, any facility that is city owned on city property. Uh, right now the schedule uh, with another co-worker uh, is one week on, one week off. So one week I'm either here at the office or at the shelter sites. Uh, second week I'm working from home. A lot of the essential employees can work from home and are working from home and some of the non-essential employees are on admin leave. So a lot less employees here at the central service yard and the office space. As a city employee to be respectful and courteous to others I uh, go by the requirements uh, which is a mask, uh, gloves as needed, hand washing, sanitizing hands, um, try not to get within six feet of another person. Um, basically adhering to the uh, guidelines for COVID-19. At home, basically the same deal. We have a lot of children at home. We have them washing their hands. We're cleaning up a lot more. We stocked up on cleaning supplies. So we're, we're doing our part, we're being diligent. A majority of the city facilities have closed due to the shelter in place order. The emergency measures for COVID-19 include the setup of various shelter sites for the homeless so they can exercise social distancing. So my efforts changed from maintaining over 400 facilities on a day-to-day -day basis to uh, standing up and ensuring proper operation for the next three to six months of six shelter sites. There are six shelter sites. Two have a maximum occupancy of 30. Um, the third has one of 50. There's one that has an occupancy of 80. Uh, there's a large tent uh, at the convention center which holds up to 300 people. And the last is a, a makeshift RV park which consists of 105 RV trailers. You know, they're given a cot with bedding um, their own personal space with storage. They can bring in their personal belongings and keep them in their areas. Um, while they are at the site, food is served for them. 
There are restroom, shower, laundry facilities. Um, there's a lot of uh, mutual aid, which consists of county programs, nonprofit organizations that arrive on site to help deliver the food. Uh, Valley Medical provides medical services, examinations, checkups, uh, vaccinations, um, and then referrals to Valley Medical Hospital if necessary. Uh, there's also counseling. Um, whatever type of service you can think that a homeless person might need are available at the shelter sites. So resources were definitely a challenge to gather and to set up on, a, on an ongoing basis. Um, not to mention the pandemic uh, that we're going through, COVID-19, which is a social distancing um, situation. So try to imagine getting a crew together to perform these services on site with other groups while trying to maintain social distancing. There's the fear of this virus. There's the fear of uh, contracting it while performing duties, working with others, and then bringing in the homeless. Um, there's, you know, question marks there. So it, it brings a fear out of the unknown. Um, that's a challenge in itself. The main objective was to stop the spread of coronavirus. And the way you do that is having everyone shelter in place, less contact with others in public. Uh, so first and foremost, the shelter and order place um, placement really helped. That actually allowed us to do our job, uh, just knowing that there was less people out there. Um, helped us feel better and kind of helped solidify the idea of stopping the spread. All the uh, efforts that we're taking to provide the homeless with services to make sure they're protected, um, I think all that together is helping to stop the spread. So I think the city is doing their part.